it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. As many of you know, I have on my Twitch channel a channel point redemption where you guys can request a makeup look from me. And most of those makeup look requests are Genshin Impact characters. So I make a look for each of the characters. So now I'm going to be going through them slowly and showing you the tutorial for each of them. So today's tutorial is on... Official! I think this makeup look was maybe one of my third ones I did for like a Genshin Impact character and this is before I'd even met Fischl so like I didn't really know anything about Fischl. I think I had pulled her character at that point but it was still a very new introduction to me for Fischl. I kind of knew like what her vibe was and like her color scheme so that's what I mostly went off of. So this is going to be I think it's with my current skill level, I think it's going to be pretty easy to do, but if you're just a beginner in makeup, if this is just like a look you're doing for the first time, or if this is a look you're doing for Halloween, I do think it'll be a little bit difficult. I think the, diffi the most difficult part will be the graphic liner, but I will walk you through it. It's going to... You're gonna get it down and you're gonna be like, oh my god, this is amazing. Because when I first did this makeup look, like the extent of my eyeliner experience was just like a wing. So this was like a big step out for me. So I will be here with you the whole way. We'll hold hands. We'll hold hands. So let's get started. I'm gonna get my hair out of the way. I didn't have bangs like this when I did this makeup look, so I think I'm gonna have to brush them to the side while I'm doing all of this, but I will be right we are ready. So I usually like to do my face first. I just think it's easier to get started with the face. For certain makeup looks, you don't want to start with the face first because like there can be fallout and stuff, but I think for this one, it'll be just fine. So I'm just going to do my base with the Misha um, Cushion Foundation. I'm really just going to be doing this in my problem areas and then blending that out in the other areas where I don't typically put foundation. Sometimes when you have such bright lighting like this, it's hard to see on the camera what all I'm covering up and like if it's actually working. So I am going to be looking off at a mirror over here. Okay, so most of today's makeup look is going to be purple. So I brought my purple blush. This is the M Cosmetics serum blush they um just redid their packaging and i think they reformulated so this might be a little bit different if you're using the same product as me and this blends out pretty far so i don't really need too much but i use i use my fingers to do this it's just a nice flush of color we don't want anything too overpowering i'm gonna turn the light down a little bit actually on my skin tone purple blush tends to blend out to a nice little like baby pink sort of. So I really like that, but it, you still maintain that kind of like purple hue. So it's just very nice and soft is the right word, soft. I like it, it's soft, so soft. I'll set my face a little bit just so it's not so oily. And I'm gonna be using my Kosas Cloud Set. This is in the shade Pillowy. I've actually hit pan on this, so. I'm gonna have to get a new one soon. Over the blush, since this is a tinted um, powder, we just wanna go very lightly. If you're using a translucent powder, you don't have to go as lightly as I am, but that's what I'm doing. So now we're gonna go into the eyes. There's not really a whole lot we do with the face here. So the eyes are the main look. So first, I have two options here. So we can either do a, a pen eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner. Or I have a water activated liner. This is the Suva Hydra Liner in Greece. I have been preferring water liners recently because it doesn't really tug on the skin and it's a lot more forgiving if you mess up. So um, water activated liners now are actually a pretty good um, price point. They used to be more expensive because it was less common, but now that more people have been using it, there's been you know, an influx of just p companies creating it. So it's a better deal now, I would say, if you want to actually try a water activated liner. So these 
these brushes I use for water activated liners they're just uh, nail brushes but I've never used nail polish on it so if you're if you have nail brushes already but you've used nail polish on it don't use that by your eyes okay so this is a brand new nail brush I have only ever used this with makeup okay so I'm gonna go in with my black one and I just get a little bit of water on the brush and I kind of start working that into the pot. I don't want to just pour water into the pot because then it gets a little bit hard to control the consistency. So I have hooded eyes. So when I have my eye all the way open, this part here is hidden. So you're going to really want to go off of the way your eye is. So I have this space here in between my eyebrow and my hood. So I'm going to go right in between that. And we're going to go basically all the way across with this line here. If you are um, wondering what consistency I'm getting on this water activated liner, it should be a little bit more than a cream, if that makes sense. So I had to like steady my hands when I'm doing this because my hands shake a lot. See how I kind of messed up already? It's okay. We're just gonna build that line up. So then I have, it's, I, what I was thinking of when I was doing this is kind of making it like a lightning bolt. So that's where now we're going to, make sure you're like your eyes in like a resting position when you're doing this, not like raised eyebrows or anything cause then it'll mess up the way it looks. Is this the way I did it before? I think before I did a shorter line on top. Oh yeah, I did do a shorter line on top, but you know, I kind of like this. So now I'm just gonna make that line, those lines a little bit thicker, more bold. Okay, so that's the top part of the eye. Then I'm gonna show you how to do the bottom part of the eye. So I just wanted this to look kind of like, mmm, cause fish was a little bit like little goth, little emo. So I just, I have like an upside part, how would I explain this? Like an upside down moon, a crescent moon underneath my eyes. And I'm periodically wetting my brush and putting it back in the wet liner. So yeah, it dries pretty quickly sometimes, so you need to be careful of that. So we're gonna do an inner corner point as well, so leave a little bit of space from your inner corner. So I'm just gonna go, if I'm looking straight ahead, it's like right the edge of my, my iris. Yeah, not my pupil, but my iris, so. And try not to get the water activated liner in your eyeballs. It's in my eyeballs. It is. How far out? And then just looking straight ahead, we're going to go a little bit past where our iris is. And then we're going to connect that underneath our lashes like that. So then we just want to make that line a little bit bolder and give these two edges here a little bit more of a point. Under the eye with water activated liner is a little bit difficult because I have, um, they're not wrinkles, but they're creases underneath my eyes. So if the water activated liner is a little bit too wet, it can um, smudge. So right now this part is a little bit too wet for me. So I'm just trying to be really careful of not doing anything with my face. And then for the inner part of the eye, you can either save this for later or you can do it now, but I'm just gonna do it now just so we can show you how to do all of this. So, how would I explain this? So you're gonna go off of the top part of your eyelid, not the bottom part of your eyelid. So you're not going to be going from your bottom part and then making the inner corner, you're gonna be going from the top part and going down, 
if that makes sense. So I draw it going up just because it's easier with me for my hands, but the way to explain it is, you know, you're going from your top eyelid. So I'm just going to go right there and start brushing up towards my top eyelid. And you're just going to connect that to your bottom eyelid. And there's the liner. I'm not going to do the, my eyelid liner just yet because we're going to be putting some uh, eyeshadow in there. So we don't want to um, have to go back over with, you know, because it's going to get covered with the eyeshadow. So wait till this is like mostly dry. If you're just using a regular eyeliner, it's, you're not going to have to wait as long for it to dry. But next we are going to do the purple do the purple so for the purple i will be using my glam light wine palette and we're going to be using the shade malbec 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 and i'm just going to be using a fluffy little brush and we're going to get that in there and we're going to go on the outside of the liner we already did so just I would just pat that in because see already how it's going over the eyeliner it's making the eyeliner a little bit dull we're gonna have to go back in with the eyeliner in certain spots but we don't want this purple to get out of control and all over around our eyes we want to keep it very close to the eyeliner because if you just go all over the eyes it's gonna start looking pretty messy and we're just gonna do that all around the eyeliner and then we're gonna go under the eyes be very careful doing purple under here because it can make you look tired or sick so we just want to very gently okay so now we have all the purple laid out we just want to blend that out a tiny bit you know what i'm going to use this little tiny brush just gonna get a little tiny bit of purple on and i'm just gonna start blending the edges. It's better to blend up when you're doing a point than blend down because it could tend to make your eyes a little bit droopy. So we're just blending up and meeting that edge that we made and then we're going to connect these two here and keep this very light and connect that and ta-da! Ta-da! And now we're gonna go all over over all of that, over all of it, with a sparkly purple. I'm just going to be using this Napa color here. And I'm gonna use my finger for this. Be careful, because we don't wanna get it inside of where the liner is. Because this is so pigmented, this is a, I didn't use this palette when I first did this. I'm definitely gonna have to go over the black again, because this is just making my black a shiny purple here. So I don't really want that look right now. But it is pretty. And now we're going to go in with this palette. This is the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. And we're going to, I think I used the jade color. Okay, so we're going to use the jade color in here. It's this green color. And I chose this because Fischl's eyes are green. And I didn't want it to just be like a monochromatic sort of purple look. So we're going to get a little bit of the green on. And we're just going to... We're just going to get that right on the lid there. We're going to go a little bit into this, but I know it's going to be difficult because we have the liner there. Ooh, we have the liner there. And then I'm just going to get a little tiny bit of the Opal Aura. So uh, you're going to want a green sparkle and then like a kind of white sparkle just to disperse how vibrant the green is. And I'm just putting that right in the center there. Okay, now we're going to go back in with the, with the liner. And we're just going to do our eyelid, our eyelid liner. So I've said this multiple times before when I'm doing my makeup. I really just go right up against my lashes to get that line on top. You can 
make it a little bit thicker. It doesn't have to be super tiny thin. I have liner in my eyes, but that's okay. That's okay. And ta-da! Let me finish up the eye here, and then I'll bring you back in just a second. But let's let's do some mascara. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty mascara here. This is just a little sample size, but I, you can get a bigger one if you want. I don't know why I'm whispering. Why am I whispering? I really want to wipe off my hands because I have sparkles on like three of my fingers. I'm gonna be wiping it off on a post-it. That purple is so vibrant. Okay, I'm just gonna rub it in. Just rub it in. Share the love, share the sparkle. Okay. This is a more um, volumizing mascara because we want this to be like, you can put falsies on, but I don't really feel like putting falsies on right now. So I just want this to be like, whoa. Are you wearing falsies? No, just mascara. Another thing I like about water activated liners is it's super easy to get off because it's water. And now I'm going to be doing the other eye, so I'll be right back. Now we are going to finish up the makeup look by doing our eyebrows and then our lips. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Insta Lift Brow Pencil just to fill in my brows a little bit. I want to make them not too dark but just like enough to be like, ah, yes. Remember the eyebrows are still here. And then I'm going to, does one eyebrow look more fierce than the other? Oh, wah, wah. You didn't see that. We didn't see that. There, it never happened. It never happened. Then I'm gonna go in with my 24 hour brow setter with uh, by benefit by benefit. I'm just gonna brush them up into more of a wah shape. Let's let's think of it as uh, Oz's feather. Just feathered eyebrows a little bit. Gonna get a little bit more of my purple blush, and I'm just gonna put a little tiny more. And we're just gonna blend that all in. Fix the bangs always. Ooh, the bangs match the <sighs> lippy time. This is the Kaleidos in Queen of the Night. And this is their lip clay. Mm, isn't that a beautiful color? So that was a very dark purple. So then I have this little tiny high shine liquid lipstick that I got for a holiday once. And it's, I don't know if you can get this anymore, but I'm just going to gloss my lips a little bit. Got to blend it. Now it's time to take down the hair. Oh, and get it off my teeth. This is the completed look for official. It's a little bit different than I did it the first time because I have better products now. So, you know, improvement. Improvement. I love the lip. Before I didn't have a purple lip when I first did this look, but like this purple lip is everything. So I will have all the products I use linked down below. The original picture of this makeup look is on my Instagram and then I'll be posting this look on my Instagram as well. So all of my social medias will be linked down below. If you ever want to request a makeup look from me, come see me over on my Twitch channel and get some makeup point redemptions. That's where I do most of the requests. You can feel free to request something here, but I may not be as likely to do it. So yes, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you love Fischl as much as I do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Yay, we did it! We did it, we did it, we did it. Yeah, I gotta mess you. I'm enjoying the way I look. Okay, really bye now. Bye!